widow called the widow of Zarephath, you would have thought that she was used to bail out the prophet. No, sir. The Bible says there were many widows in Zarephath. It was only one that God sent to. So, sir, ma, no, don't be confused. The widow was not used to bail out the prophet. The prophet was used to bail out the widow. Read the story well. By the virtue of obeying the prophets. Make true for me. Da, 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 da. He's prophesied. Guess what? All of a sudden, the woman who said, I have one meal to eat and die. Eh? But a prophetic breath came over her meal. We're told that meal sustained her throughout the season of drought and famine. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges, career challenges, indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodhart's Obi Ikweme. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one, and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rogic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodhart's O Ikweme. On Instagram at Apostle Goodheart and on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. The surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We You're welcome to the Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. Can you lift your hands where you are and just bless the Lord God of Heaven that answers us every time we call right here on this altar. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You are incredible. You are incredible. Can you lift your voice and just bless you? You are incredible. You are incredible. Yes, you are.
God we serve is an incredible God. The God we serve is truly an incredible God. Shall we once again lift our hearts and our voices in the nation and thank the Lord for his mercies over our lives in this brand new day, the 28th day of the month of March in the year of the Lord 2024. Lift your voice and thank him. It's a great day to be alive. We're grateful to access his mercy, his grace in this brand new day. Access granted. Hallelujah. Oh, before this incredible God, we gather again as a global family of fire, thanking Jesus for the gift of life and the gift of his mercies. Bible declares he daily loads us with his divine benefits. <laughs> there is a loadation of his benefits over your life in every day. He daily, he daily has a commitment to daily load his own with his benefits. Psalm 103, 1 to 5 and 6 begins to enumerate some of his benefits. He forgives you and I of our iniquities. He heals us of all our diseases. He satisfies our mouth with good things. And on and on and on and on, we find his benefits in the merger there. The Bible says we are not to forget any one of his benefits. Will you lift your voice and thank the Lord? for his many, many benefits in your life. Number one, you're still alive. Number two, you are still strong and hell and hate, hearty in his presence. Give him thanks and praise. Many who were born on the date and hour you were born are no more for reasons we can't explain, but we are thankful that we are still standing in the game of life. The Bible declares in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 4, to he or she, who is joined to all living, there is hope. <laughs> a living dog is better than a dead lion. I don't know what your experience is right now, but the truth is you are alive. You can hear my voice. At least you may be able to see me, but at least you can hear my voice. Thank him. Thank him. Wow. Father, thank him. Thank him. Every good gift and every perfect gift comes from God in whom there is no shadow of turning not variableness that is found in James 1 17 every good gift and every perfect gift comes from God in whom there is no shadow of turning nor variableness Jesus Christ is saying yesterday today and forevermore we can bank on the integrity of the word of the Lord. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Lift your voice and thank the Lord. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. The unchangeable life changer. When he steps into your matter, guess what? Your matter begins to matter to the God of heavens. And guess what? It's all over. Your test on for testimonies, your trials on for triumph. Shall you lift, lift our voices out? This is the hour we believe this coming a turnaround in our lives as we pray. If there is a man that will pray, there is certainly, definitely, the God that will answer is a prayer answering God. Ay, ay, ay. A songwriter says, when I hear him call me, I will answer a billion times. Wow. <laughs> I respond to the call of God today to draw near to him that he may draw near to me. James 4, 8, draw near to God. And God said, I am committed to draw near to you. Akaparatika, take steps in faith. This hour, praise the Lord. I draw near to you, Makaparakati, Brugade, because access is now granted to come before the throne room to go beyond the veil, Makate, because the veil has been torn up. Oh, yes, that's what we celebrate this coming weekend resurrection. The tomb is empty, the grave is empty. Ah, the master, the king is risen. Wow, he's no longer where he lay. Hallelujah, my God, the king is risen. Marco Predesegata, when he rose, he rose majestically. Okapa and ascended to the heavens. He is seated on the right hand of the Father God. Ikope, where he stands or he sits to serve as an advocate for the saints. He, he's still in his intercessory ministry. Hebrews 7.25 talks about his intercessory ministry that we have 
the high priest who stands to intercede for us. Hebrews 7.25 Eko Panokasa He ever labored to make intercession for them who are called to be uh, 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 who he said is, is, is able to save us to the uttermost that come unto God, seeing he ever lived to make intercession for them. That means Jesus lives to make intercession for you. Now listen carefully. That to intercessors the believer has. Number one is Jesus. Where does he pray? He is praying for you and I. Where? On the right hand of the Father God. According to Hebrews 7.25, we have an advocate, we have an intercessor, and his name is Jesus. Where is he? He is in heaven. Where is he? He is seated on the right hand of the Father God. But guess what? I have good news for you. We have yet again another intercessor. This time around, he's not just in heaven, but this time around, that particular intercessor, guess what? Is in you. Wow. What do I mean? Is the Holy Ghost Romans 8 26 Aha. the Holy Spirit helps our infirmities we don't know how to pray as we ought to pray but guess what the Holy Spirit guess what makes intercession for us aha with groanings which cannot be uttered can we find the Lord for the ministry of Jesus at the right hand of the Father but also the ministry of the Holy Ghost guess what in me, in me, in me, the Holy Ghost in me, Colossians 1 17, the Holy Ghost in me, Christ in me is the hope of glory, the Holy Ghost in me. Can you declare and declare? Place your hand upon your chest, your hands, and the Holy Ghost in me is walking a mighty walk in me, causing me to will and to do of Abba Father's good pleasure. The Holy Ghost is walking in me. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. My intercessor. Help me to pray this hour, Jesus. Help me to lead the nation in prayer. Maka accurately and precise. Help me to go beyond my study and contemplation. Speak expressly through my lips. Eka brigadaka, brugo, 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 daga. Aka baba ba. Christ in you. That's the Holy Ghost now. Is the hope of glory. Ah, yeah. Baroko to toko 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 to push it in the Holy Ghost now. Bergata, Bergata, ask the Holy Ghost to help you to pray, to pray the mind of the Father, to pray the will of the Father. Bakata, Bergata, to pray His kingdom to come, His will to be done. Mbogo daga, brugo daga, brugo daga. Wow, are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Holy Ghost, Kabaga, I yield myself to you, Holy Ghost. You cause me to will and to do of your good pleasure, Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. If you are fire baptized, release your prayer language just for the next few minutes. Let's create an atmosphere of fire. Barakatule, baraka braga 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 tule. Bliata, 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 bliata. Braga 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 braga. He spoke once, twice. I heard that power belongs to this power nowhere else but is in Jesus. And he turned to give us that same power as the church. And you go into the world with the power I receive. And you go and preach with this power. We're told in Mark 16, 20, as they went, ah, yeah, yeah, the Holy Ghost went with them. My God, my God, my God. As you go, uh -uh, the Holy Ghost is committed to go with you. It means, ah, yeah, book a second, hear this, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. There is a going forth, Maka. That going forth is the key for your breaking forth, Makatabaya. If only you go, it will give way. Prakata, Prakata. Take a step towards your Goliath. Your Goliath will back out and bow down. David, your Goliath is waiting for you to pluck off his head. Baratu ketekete. Your Goliath is coming down this mountain. Coming down this mountain. I don't know what your Goliath is. Goliath of fear, anxiety, trepidation, worry, poverty, or lack. Whatever name your Goliath is named by, is coming down with one stone of David today. Is coming down. Your Goliath is coming down. Sickness is coming down. Disease is coming down. Weakness is a uh, failure. You've been going around the mud for too long. It is coming down. Beroska seka teka te coming down, coming down, come, mountains come down. Beroska teka 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 te. Father, thank you. We just give you the praise. We just give you the glory. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we've given thanks. Amen and a mighty amen. I want to beseech you, dearly beloved, if you haven't already, to please do the needful right now. 
endeavor to invite your friends and family. Wake them up where they are. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Something is happening where? On the altar called the GDP. Do that right now. It's so, so critical. You, you, you don't know whose life you're going to touch right now by just inviting them to be a part of this prayer on all the platforms. We're live, crisp and clean and clear on all platforms. We're currently live on Facebook. Apostle Goodhart is the page of Facebook. Copy a link, uh, copy, copy a link from Facebook, put it on your status, your timeline on Facebook, but also copy that link and just share uh, on the groups you belong to on Facebook. Whatever group you belong to, uh, use that access and share this link with that group. All right, go to Instagram, IG, copy a link and share uh, across the length and breadth of your contact list on Instagram, but also put it on your story or timeline that will be well worth your effort but also go to our youtube uh, channel which is gppa tv quite simple acronym for global prophetic prayer author so gppa tv is right there our channel with chris and claire there you can pick up a link from there and go to your whatsapp and please share liberally generously exuberantly um, on your whatsapp contact list uh, also put it on your story of WhatsApp. And if you have any broadcast list, uh, you go ahead and also share on such a broadcast list. And um, if you belong to groups uh, on WhatsApp, do the need for and share with your groups. You don't know who it is. This invitation is going to radically change their lives. So you, you don't take this step for granted of inviting friends and family. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it sometimes. Uh, it may not happen overnight, but somebody somewhere who continues to see your invitation will suddenly say, wait a minute, let me check out what is this all about? And for them, boom, 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 one shot and they're hooked. <laughs> one service, they're hooked. One encounter and GP, boom, the rest is history. I perceive that will be somebody's testimony today in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. We're going to further where we began yesterday. I began by sharing with you that there are four pillars uh, for scriptures that the Lord gave me when uh, he set me on this journey in the past seven or so years in this new phase of my life and ministry. And um, I began to pick up on one of them. But before we get there, I just wanted to pray something, something that, that has to do with the love of God, something, something. You know, uh, one of my favorite books that I've penned so far, quite a few of them, uh, actually over 30 titles of the glory of the Lord, but one amongst them that really, really, I, I go back to from time to time is one titled, Living in the Father's Love Zone. Now, um, uh, you can go to my YouTube channel, Apostle Goodhart TV, um, go to playlist. When you get there, look out for, um, look out for uh, the title of audio books audio books so go to my youtube follow me by the way should subscribe when something new comes up you'll be reminded but go there apostle goodheart right but go to um go to uh playlist then on playlist look out for audio books why i say this there are at least 20 out of those 30 or so books have been converted to audio mode and is completely free of charge freely i received from the Lord, the freely I gave. Download, if you're so blessed, pour back into my life and ministry, so be it, but that is free for you. Share as wide as you can, download as many times as you can. It's just there to be a blessing to you. All right, one of the books, why I say so, is Living in the Father's Love Zone. Now, you can listen to the audio book, but I think possibly more, um, what's the word now? Uh, maybe more, more, um, Transformational will be to listen to the 10 part series where I actually taught um, on, on that. The, the book is, is from the, the teaching series, uh, so either one will really bless. Why am I saying this? I, I found that the revelation uh, yeah, yeah, of the love of God in a man's life is fundamental, foundational for the man to experience true liberty and freedom. Uh, yeah, yeah. When you know that God loves you, not based on your deeds or misdeeds, but based on his nature as love. First John 4, 8, God is love. First John 4, 16, God is love. 
So God doesn't have love. God is love. Or so he's committed to loving me based on his nature and character, not based on my deeds or misdeeds. Now, this is mind-blowing. <laughs> that means, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. His love is unconditional. His love is eternal. His love is everlasting. His love is covenantal. Do you get that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's eternal. It's everlasting. It is covenantal. But guess what? It is also unconditional. Wow. I want you where you are to just place your hand on your chest. You know how we sang that when we were young? Jesus loved me. This I know for my Bible tells me so. Such a simple rhyme or whatever we may call that or a song, you know. But there's so much meaning to that. Jesus loves me. This I know. You've got to know it. All right. How do you know it? Not because I feel loved. Mm, I don't have to feel loved to know he loves me. No, no. I know he loves me because my Bible tells me so. Not just that, I saw what he did to express love for me. What he do? He died for me. He died for me. We're coming into Resurrection Weekend. This Good Friday. What happened that day? He died for the entire world. But as surely as there was a death day, Friday, there was a coming Sunday resurrection. Can you lift your hands and thank the Lord for his love for you, his amazing love. For God so loved the world that he gave. Wow. Love always gives. Oh, my God, I felt that. Lord, I thank you for your love. Woo! Can you embrace the love of God irrespective of what you don't have and done? He loves you so. This love is on quenchable. It's like a raging flame and fire that can never be quenched. It's the love of God. It's unconditional. It's everlasting. It's eternal. And guess what? It is covenantal. Nothing is able to change the covenant. Lord, we thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for your amazing love. Amazing love, amazing love in the name of Jesus. I, I, I've taught my children severally. I said to them that there is nothing they can do that will make me change my mind about loving them. All right, because that love really has nothing to do with what they do or don't do. Trap with me. All right, but guess what? Uh, what they do or do not do can affect whether I have pleasure with them or I'm pleased with them, all right? So likewise also, um, we cannot really affect or regulate the love of God for us to us. It's everlasting, it's eternal, it's unconditional. Guess what? It's covenantal, all right? Now, however, we can determine his degree of pleasure, all right? endorsement, affirmation to us. So a child can displease me, but I can still love the child. I want us to begin with the revelation that he loves me anyways and anyhow. Look at the scripture, beloved. Romans 8. Are you still sharing? Please keep on sharing. Keep on sharing Facebook. Apostle Goodhart, share on Facebook. Uh, put on your groups and all that. Go to Instagram. Share on Apostle Goodhart. Please go ahead and share this. And um, of course, uh, YouTube, GPB TV, share. Roger Radio, share and share and share. A shout out to our family in Nigeria who are connected on the grid of the radio stations, FM stations from Cornwall, South, East, and West. 27 of them, Blair and Chris McLean. A shout out to those in Makodi, in Joss, Portakot, Calabar, Enugu, Owe, Asambao, Oshubo, Oshu, Ibano, Oyo, Benin, City, Edo State, Plateau. Um, Kogi, uh, Kaduna, Kano, uh, Medubi, on and on and on, wherever you are, a shout out to you, all my family aware. The Lord bless every one of you in the nation, Nigeria, who are connected through our FM stations. And for those who are behind the scene, in all those FM stations, a special God bless you to all of you who have to wake up so early to serve the nations in this regard of being a part of seven behind the scene uh, operations and uh, all of that stuff from the station at 5 a.m. 
God bless all of you. May you be first partakers or become partakers of the blessing God continues to pour over us and over this family, this body of faith in Jesus' name. Whatever stands to be a challenge for, for those operators behind the scene in our 27 stations, I stand in agreement today <laughs> to ask the God whom I serve, Aya Bokaleto Sekata, to lift up his countenance over you and do you good. May Abba Father smile upon you a minute, cause your test to become testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray, amen and amen. Today is the 28th day uh -huh, of the third month of March, of the 24th month. 28 is quite a significant number. It speaks of four series or four sets of seven. Seven, you know, means perfection, completion, and rest. So when we look at today, it speaks of multiples of seven, 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 seven. It's a day of note. Look at this. He, Romans 8, 35 to 37. Father, we thank you. Romans 8, 35 to 37. Shall we read together? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Yeah, that, that's it. So the subject here is the love of Christ. So who, who, what, or what, right? Shall tribulation, the question goes on and on. As, as mean, as brutal as these things are, the answer is none of them can separate me from God's love. Not fire, not rain, not storm, not people, not tempest. Let's go now. Who shall separate us, or what, from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, right? As difficult as they are, they can't separate from the love of Christ. See, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Wow. Through what? Through what? Through him who did what? Who loved us. Past tense. Not loved us. Loved us. So, ay, ay, ay. before the enemy could move on the chessboard of our lives, guess what? God moved before that. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. Shall we lift our voice and embrace this amazing, I call it reckless love, reckless love. Doesn't make sense. Illogical. If you're in the natural, you won't understand the love of God. You have to go outside the four walls of the human thinking to begin to appreciate gradually, surely, the depth, the length, the breadth, and the height of the love of God, as the Bible says in Ephesians 3, I believe from verse 14 to 17, that may know the length, the breadth, the depth, the height of the love of God. Lift your voice and thank the Lord for His love. It's amazing love. Amazing love. He loved me when I was not lovable. Father, I thank you. Lord will give you praise. Lord will give you praise. Nothing shall be able to separate us. Uh -uh. Of the love of God. Listen, you and I are in the grip of the mercy of the Lord. Eya, eke brigate, brigate, brigate. What you say in prayer, the Lord, overlook my flaws, overlook my shortcomings. Let your mercy cover kapasikata, every form of error. Let your grace amplify my efforts to love you, to please you. Aya, You are unchangeable, life changer. Anyone who encounters you sincerely must change. You don't change, but you change life. <laughs> You've changed my life. You're changing my life. I thank you. Cross Katada Brugaba in Brugaba for Papa Sukata. Possibility of advance in the kingdom of God. You're changing our lives. Keep bringing one life at a time. Jesus is changing our lives. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Isaiah 40, we were there uh, yesterday, I believe it is, as we saw one out of the four. Uh, pilot scriptures God gave me, the undergird horn of revival ministry, the mother of GPPA. So these also are four pilot scriptures that undergird this ministry in many regards more than one. We began by looking at Isaiah 40, 1 to 7. I quoted four of them. Isaiah 40, 1 to 6 or 7 is one of them. The next one is Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. All right. Next one will be Zechariah 4, 6, if you like, add verse 7. All right. Third scripture. Fourth one is in the New Testament, Matthew 6, 
33. And we began to walk our way upwards. All right. Um, from the very first one, we said, Isaiah, we're going to pray this through yesterday. We we'll spent time on Isaiah 40. Um, I want to just erase through it again, and then we'll move on to Isaiah 43, 18, 19. I believe today, I believe today, the Lord will do something new in all of our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shout out again, man. Amen and amen. All right. Isaiah 41 to 6. Comfort ye, comfort ye. My people said, your God, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her iniquity is pardoned for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. We'll pray this yesterday, right? Verse 3. The voice of him that cries in the wilderness is John the Baptist now. Prepare in prophecy, of course. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. All right. Make straight in the desert a highway. So you can adopt this to be your ministry modus operandi, right? The voice of him that cries in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way in the desert, right? A highway for our God. All right. It says verse 4, every valley shall be exalted. That's our testimony. And every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. Verse 5, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Next verse. And the blow, sorry, the voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass and all the goodliness thereof as a flower of the field. Wow. It's a very sweet scripture. Now, this scripture speaks about a voice crying the wilderness to prepare the will of the Lord, but begins to illustrate uh, but in this case, every valley be filled, mountains were leveled, smooth, smooth the rough pathways. Well, what is going on here? God is saying, well, when I come, I, 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 I am going to um, prepare uh, a wrong way in the heart of many to embrace this. Uh, this was the minister of John the Baptist. All right. Came as a forerunner. All right. To pave the way, to announce that the kingdom of God is at hand. That when Jesus showed up, it wasn't just at hand, the kingdom was here. I want us to lift our voice and thank the Lord for the opportunity to embrace change on this altar. Mountains being leveled uh, in humility, valleys being filled, valleys of insecurity, of fears, of worry. Uh, we are allowing them to feel a rough path with the midst of lift your voice and thank the Lord. Father, thank you. Wow. Katiska, take a take a take a take a take. Oh, we well, thank you, Lord Jesus, for the privilege to be able to create a runway in our heart for you to come. Um, preparing a way for you, Kapasukata. We prepare the way oh, by our sacrifice, by our consecration, by our devotion and dedication. We prepare the way. Mm. The way is in the heart. Kapasukata is in the heart. Kapasukata. It's in the heart. Out of your belly flows rivers of water. It's in the heart. Father, thank you. Wow. It is flowing. It's in the heart. It's in the heart. My God. It's in the heart. Wow. It's in the heart. Wow. Every valley shall be. Not some valleys. Every valley. The valleys of concerns and fear and anxiety. It must be filled. The mountains are being leveled. Come on, he meets you, anger and proud, you're coming down. And the rough path is made smooth. Verse 5 says, And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all the flesh shall see together. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Just the voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof. Is as a flower of the field. This is the this is the description of how um, fleeting and vain, quote unquote, life can be outside Christ. 
But what gives meaning to your life, true meaning, is your knowing Christ. When you know him, he begins to unravel to you your godly purposes, begins to equip you with the, the anointing, the grace, the word, the networks, to see that you are being fired in the right direction of your destiny. It's nothing like in this life to be in the center of God's will for your life. My yearning all the time, may I be found in the center of God's will all my days in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's jump to Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. Uh, we, we dealt with what we just quoted now quite a bit yesterday. Uh, go for the um, uh, for the archived um, session of yesterday on YouTube so they can come up to speed to what we're doing and how we're doing it. So Isaiah 43, let us pick up from uh, 18, 19. Remember ye not the former things, all right? Neither consider the things of old, 19. 19, remember ye the former things, all right? Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. That sounds like brick forth, all right? And you shall not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness. Remember this phrase months ago? Yeah, makes a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Wow, wow. I want us to cry out to the Lord. According to your word that you do a new thing in my life, <laughs> let this be that season where everything is made new. Can you push that now? In his own time, he makes all things beautiful. If this is his time for new things, then new things it is. But we must learn to forget yesterday. He says, remember you not. Hmm. Okay, that's the key and the clue of how to possess the new. Remember you not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, that means you look, turn around. I will do a new thing, and it shall spring forth. Aya, aya. May the joy of the Lord spring forth. May peace spring forth. May his glory spring forth. May his strength spring forth in your life. Everything good in the covenant may it spring forth in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, pushing in the Holy Ghost now. I'm bouncing back. I'm springing forth. Thank you, the Lord. Thank you, the Lord. Thank you, the Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. It says, remember ye not the former things. Oftentimes, it's a memory of where we're coming from that tends to hinder us from advancing to our godly future. Our mind tells us, well, you had trouble doing this yesteryear, yesteryears. Why bother? Don't bother God alone. Leave him alone. God forbid. <laughs> you better bother him. That's called bothering. <laughs> you call upon the name of God, it's bothering. Oh, no, no. So you call, I will answer. Yeah, if you don't call, I will not answer. Presumably, that's what it says. So I want us to thank the Lord for yesterday, but we want to let go of yesterday. Apostle Paul said, this one thing I do, forgetting that which lies behind. So I want us to quickly, by faith, throw your past into the sea of forgetfulness. Your past experience, your past victories, your past trials, your past pain, your past tears, because no matter how pretty or wonderful this past was, God is saying, let go of it. If you don't let go, I will not bring the new thing in your life. So what that means to you, can we pray for grace to embrace the new? Mm. And grace to let go of the old. It's not all the glitters that is gold. It's not all the glitters that is gold. Ah, it's not all the glitters that is gold. Makata Paragasa, Father, give us the real thing. We lay aside yesterday. Lay aside the failure of yesterday as well as a success because there's a higher dimension in this season. Makata Whoa. Father, thank you for victory by the blood. Thank you for separating us from the old and bring us into the new. Fresh all from this season. Fresh all. Our head will not be lacking for ointment. I declare and declare fresh all over every one of us, a part of this family, fresh all for maximum exploits in this new season. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In verse 19 says, Behold, that is where to change our attention 
from beholding what is not working, begin to see what is working to the glory of the Lord. Remember, you know the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I even will wake, sorry. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even, that's the point I'm making now. It's not you doing this one now, huh? It says, I will even make a way. Remember where we came from, Isaiah 40? Yeah, I will even make a way in the wilderness and what? Rivers. Rivers speaks of flourishing, refreshing, and all of all that is green and prosperous. Lift your voice, declare and clear for me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my past, for how far you brought me. But today, according to this prophetic scripture, I forget the former things. I lay them aside as I embrace the new thing that you are doing in my life today, right now. In the name of Jesus, thank you for causing water to flow out of my desert places. I declare and declare, I lack no good thing all the days of my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Forget the former things. Behold, that is what you see is important. Behold, I do a new thing. So I believe that the Lord. Uh, place these scriptures in my heart regarding the things you've been doing uh, in one's life and in one's ministry. That it's a new thing that he's doing. Praise God. Uh, for all internal purposes, GBPA is a new thing. And there are quite a number of expressions the Lord has given. Uh, Roger uh, and Hong, the Umbrella Ministry, uh, and clearly enough, um, God has chosen to do new things in our lives to which we are grateful and we're humble to be a small part of what God is doing. Zechariah 4, 6. Let's push this one, one more. And then we'll jump into our communion table. So we've seen um, four pillars that are scripture references that all gave me, and gave you by extension. Uh, number one is uh, Isaiah um, 41 to 6, yeah? and Isaiah 43, 18, 19, and Zechariah 4, uh, verse 6, I believe it is. See, all of this is prepping us <clears throat> to go for all that God has made available for us, especially as we're coming to this beautiful weekend across the nation where many are celebrating what they call Easter, but what I choose to call Resurrection Morning, Resurrection Day, whatever it is, uh, all are the same. Praise God. So this weekend will be for that, for many Christians across the world and the nations. Um, so it's a graph for six, yeah. Then he answered and speak unto me, saying this, this is the word of the Lord. And Zerubbabel saying, not by might, somebody hear the scriptures, not by power, number two, number three, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Shall we lift our voice and receive grace to finish well? It's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by the Spirit of the living God. Wow, Holy Spirit, help me to finish well. Help me to finish well. You pray this prayer. Pray it. Zechariah 4, 6. Help us as a family to finish well and strong. The journey of life, but also the journey of this year, 2024. This is the third month coming to an end. We sanctified and hallowed the remaining uh, nine months of the year. Capacity Lord, give us speed and grace to birth out the miracle that is placed in our heart and we place in our heart, even in this season. Father, we'll give you praise. We'll give you glory. We'll give you glory. Thank you and thank you for your marvelous heart. We draw down on the blood of Jesus. We declare and declare by the blood will finish well and strong in the name of the Lord Jesus. Our testimony shall be nothing but shalom as a global family. It shall be said in your life, in my life, nothing is missing. Nothing is lacking. Nothing is broken. Nothing is wanting. Why? The peace of the Lord. May it rest over you and overwhelm you. For every troubled water right now, receive peace. 
For every troubled mind right now receive peace. For every troubled body, emotion, psyche, they're going to want receive peace. Ah, yeah. Trouble in your finances, receive peace. You will not compromise. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Father, thank you. We give you praise and glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Will you please kindly pick up your communion element? Our time is fast spent, apparently. Uh, get your communion elements. Amazing how time flies. When you're praying and enjoying yourself, it's just but a breeze. Praise God. Will you turn with me to Zechariah 9.11 as we prepare our heart for the table of covenant. Zechariah 9.11, as for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent for thy prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. Turn you to the stronghold, my God, my God. So the blood is a stronghold, stronghold for you. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Oh, yeah. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. You can read that on and on and on and on. Very powerful scripture. But the point is by the blood we gain deliverance. We lay hold on the stronghold where God has been available and affordable for us and to us. But please pick up your um, uh, communion element. And just thank the Lord for the efficacy of the blood. By the blood of the covenant, we have been delivered from every waterless pit. We have escaped from every trap of hell. Ah, yeah. Now or in the future, we jump and pass. We sanitize our pathway before us with the blood. As we advance the cause of the kingdom of God, oh, come on, the earth opens up to favor us. The elements favor us as we continue to further uh, the kingdom of God to be expansed in our day and our generation. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. You're here, not born again, on search of your eternal well-being. Uh, please, in that moment where I would love to pray with you and see the Holy Spirit come into your heart, perform a spiritual surgery that will change your life for all of your life. You can't have Jesus and be the same. It's amazing when people say they have Jesus and they don't behave Jesus. Uh, 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 uh. It begins with having him on the inside. But if you yield to him, he will cause you to 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 be led as it were uh, into the right places so you're not here i'm not born again will you just lift your hand to the lord and let's pray together or perhaps you are born again but you lost your fire um you know that uh you used to be hotter than this you know it um uh, when you see young people do what you used to do uh it 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 hurts you uh, puts you in a very interesting position of of guilt and all of that but today, uh, you can turn your heart to Jesus and be that one that because of your life of Christ, others will envy you, all right? So, but let's pray together as you turn your heart to Jesus. Declare with me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you just as I am. I open the door of my heart as I invite you, Jesus. Be my Lord and my Savior. With my heart, I come unto righteousness. No, with my heart, I believe unto righteousness. With my mouth, I confess unto salvation. Jesus, thank you that I'm blood washed and blood washed child of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pick up your element. Lift it before the Lord. Father, we thank you for the all together again around this table at your feet. I ask that you breathe upon this element to declare them sanctified and hallowed as we eat and drink. We eat unto life, unto strength, Unto victory, unto a brand new day. Father, let miracles and healings be released and activated in homes and families, in bodies and minds, emotions and psyche, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Please break it in honor of the Master who paid a precarious price for you and for me um, and who was triumphantly. We honor him by breaking this and we eat as a family. By his stripes, we were healed, we are healed. So eat unto life in Jesus' name. Lord, we love you, my God, my God. Somebody love the Lord. Marcus, so lift your cup. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift your cup and thank you for the blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we choose for a new day. We choose a life and victory and dominion. 
if there is any living under any kind of disease or infirmity, by this miracle meal, let the sin be extinguished permanently in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for the future of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Lift your voice and thank Jesus. Wow. Let's give him praise. It's worthy of our prayers. Give him thanks and praise. We're almost there. We will switch to our devotion the next few minutes. The theme today is time for renewal and restoration. Time for renewal and restoration. But I want to invite those who turned their heart to Jesus moments ago. Please don't miss this opportunity. I want to stand together with you to rejoice with you, pray with you, send you a gift from our ministry, one of my e-books as a gift to you directly. But I need three pieces of information from you, your name, your email address, and telephone number. Name, email address, and telephone number. How do you send that? Send to my email address, which is apostlegoodheart at gmail.com. Apostlegoodheart at gmail.com. Get this to me. You can also use our WhatsApp platform to do the same name, email, telephone number. How? Send this information to plus two three four eight zero five two two three forty four forty four. Once again, plus two three four eight zero five two two three forty four forty four. That is WhatsApp enabled, by the way. If you desire to call uh, to inquire uh, or to seek any form of information, you can call, not just text or WhatsApp. Call uh, plus two three four. 704-922-2234-904-922-2234 of plus, plus 234 before that. All right. Well, we begin to gradually come to a close or we'll jump to our devotion just by way of reminder. We are on an ongoing seven days of lifting the nation Nigeria up in prayer very deliberately. We've said times and times and number again about the critical role Nigeria is called to play by way of her redemptive gifts and by way of her place in the heart of the Father. And we need watchmen like you and I to rally around this altar of Nigeria rise. Um, we're praying every three hours for 30 minutes, every three hours. You can get the fly design that reads EST, Canadian time, American time, or the one that reads 12.30 a.m. Nigerian time. So note that, um, very, very important that we we'll put our hands to plow, not be wary. The Lord strengthen and refresh us in this mandate. I believe we're coming out stronger. In a matter of days, Nigeria um, shall be redeemed and ransomed. Um, no wicked man or woman who hijack uh, this nation from uh, the populace and those that God has redeemed in the land. Praise God. Praise God. So please endeavor to connect to this season of praying uh, for the nation of Nigeria in addition to our regular prayer. We're on a three-day refresh as a church family uh, and across the global family. And we're praying uh, for three days. Uh, today's day two, by the way. Friday will be day three. And uh, the Lord will bless and honor every one of us. Don't forget on Saturday, quite important, will be our third installment of our logic, sorry, of our home global family prophetic blessing service online. Strictly by Zoom to keep it uh, somewhat confidential and um, to also give us time to interact with one another across the nation for those who connect with it. But it's this Saturday at the hour of 7 p.m. Yeah, 7 p.m. Saturday. And um, looking forward to seeing you all on Zoom, the same platform we used to pray. This time around, we'll hijack that platform um, for the online prophetic blessing. And I want, I want 15 minutes there about, but very powerful. You meet and uh, greet faces all over the world that are part of our lives in one word. So that is called our monthly prophetic blessing online service, or online summit this saturday and it is 7 p.m same whatsapp number i'm uh, sorry same uh same zoom number and id to connect it will be quite easy hopefully all right we're going to jump into our devotion for today but um i want us to pray prayer um i also invite you to honor the lord with your gifts of love um 
on the screen momentarily the ways of how to give. In Nigeria will be the interact. Sorry, in Nigeria will be the two accounts, uh, Guaranteed Trust Bank and First Bank. Uh, uh, and for those who live outside the country, you can give through our American um, American bank account, and the email tied to that is homefinance at gmail.com. H O R M finance at gmail.com. All right, that'll be Zell, yeah. But in Canada, it would be interact. Uh, try it sometimes to be sure I don't mix up the two. Interact the email for interact is Rogic Canada at gmail.com. Two C's, all right. Send that by interact, and God will bless you mightily. Send it through Zell, God will bless you. Either which way, just do the, the building of your heart and honor Jesus with your offering. God bless every one of you in particular. Our partners will continue to consistently serve the Lord through this platform with their givings. Many at times are sheer sacrifice, uh, but they that so tears. Uh, so in tears will certainly reap with joy according to scripture. So get ready for your harvest. It's around the corner. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, we're going to jump to our devotion right now. Uh, oh, have I prayed for your gift? Oh, Father, I pray for the gift of your children uh, who have continued to just pour back to this altar. Uh, Father, strengthen their hands uh, in warfare, grant them victory on all fronts, let the heavenly children open over them. Father, we give you praise and glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Amen. So we share the grace. Don't go anywhere just yet. The e reason is we have a commitment to do so within the one hour mark. But we'll have some more business for the day. It's our devotion, which is equally as important as it is uh, with a moment of prayer. All right, Father, we'll thank you once again. To you be the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. Shall we share the grace together? Or don't go anywhere. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and his mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life, we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Somebody grateful? Decree and declare. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. On all platforms, thank you, Jesus. To you be the praise and the glory. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Time for renewal and restoration. Um, Philippians 3, 13 to 14 says, Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth, Onto those things which are before. You see what I'm saying? We just pray this prayer, right? I press toward the mark, ah, yeah, yeah, for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. When you have a prophetic prayer, prophetic word over your life, people think just go to sleep with the prophecy. Oh no, just go to, sleep. Go to war with the prophecy. Praise God. Prophecies are meant to be war to manifestation. We have three more, sorry, two more portion of reading um, for. Our adventure to read the Bible cover to cover this year, um, Psalm 88 and 2 Samuel chapters 4 to 8. 4 to 8. On August 7, 1955, an outstanding Chinese church leader, Wang Ming Dao, and his wife were arrested at gunpoint for their Christian walk. Wang Ming Dao was known for his high standards and his resolute dedication to God's word. He was named, he was named Iron Man, quote unquote, for his strong faith during the Japanese occupation of China after being threatened many times by the Japanese government for his Christian faith. Rather than compromise, Ming Dao ordered himself a coffin to show how to show he was ready to die for his faith by God. After World War II, the communists gained power in China. They arrested Christian leaders who refused to agree with their policies. On August 7, 1955, after arresting Wang Ming Dao and his wife, they sentenced the couple to 15 years in prison. Though Wang Ming Dao was known for his strong stand under intense pressure in prison, he finally cracked. He compromised his faith and after signing a, 
confession to the government, he was released. But afterwards, he was plagued by the guilt that he had betrayed Christ. He likened himself to Peter and Judas and had no peace. Finally, he and his wife agreed to reject their confession to the government. As a result, they were sent back to prison. Mrs. Wang was released in 1973, my God, and Ming Dao, after spending 20 years, ooh, was released in 1980. Look at that, 20 years. Afterwards, they um, continued to teach God's word and maintained their Christian faith. Wang Ming Dao left a legacy of being one of the most outspoken Christian leaders of his generation. On Thursday night, during the Last Supper with his disciples, Judas, Judas, sorry, Jesus predicted that Peter will deny him thrice before he, before the rooster crowed. But Peter told Jesus, "Even if I die with you, I will never deny you." Peter meant every word he said. However, after Jesus was arrested, Peter became afraid as he watched Jesus go through rigorous trials. When Peter was questioned about his association with the Lord, he immediately denied him three times. Despite the horrible night of Peter's failures, the Lord still gave him a new opportunity to do what was right, and he went on to accomplish a great ministry. The truth is that no matter how strong your resolve is to live, to live right, the enemy will keep looking for ways to break that resolve. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is why we must constantly keep strengthening our faith through focus on God's word. Many people started their Christian race with every intention to live holy for Christ and maintain high standards. Some used to be firebrands and burned brightly with zeal for the gospel, but now, but over time, as they were confronted with trials and temptations, their fire began to wane and they lowered their standards. Mercy, Lord. This resurrection season is a good time for every believer to look inward and seek spiritual renewal. No matter how far we may stray, we can always get back to the cross and be washed by the blood. God is full of mercy. When we come to him in repentance, he is able to forgive us and give us another chance and even turn our mistakes into miracles. I love that. Wow. God's gift and callings are without repentance. Therefore, today, let us determine never to give up on the great vision God has ordained for our lives. In this season, as we align uh, with God's will for us, certainly it will be our time to bring forth to glorious new beginnings and realization of God's amazing destiny for us. Want to pray on account of my devotion. Lord, we know you have great plans for our life. No matter the trials and temptations or discouragements we may sometimes face, please enable us to always keep pressing forward toward the mark of your high calling for us all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Winning quote, my book, one by two to two, captures that quite appropriately. The test you are going through in life is not for your destruction, it is for your destiny. One by two to two. The test you are going through in life today is not for your destruction, it is for your testimony, or if you like, for your reconstruction. Praise the Lord. Amen. Here we draw the curtain. Thanks for being a part of this amazing session. Endeavor to keep on sharing until this gets out there to become um, easily accessible to many people across the nations. Share and share and share. I believe it's your next to testify. You go forth and break forth. God's hand is strong and mighty upon you. So we'll gather again at the feet of Jesus at 12 noon watch. Keep living, keep winning. Don't forget our many watches in this season 30, 30 minutes within 33 hours. 30 minutes within three hours, so back, 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 back to back, rapid fire. Nigeria is rising to be a mighty army in the nations. In the name of the Lord, amen. Well, thank you, Lord, once again. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of this. Have a wonderful day. 
a little big. And uh, of course, we're back at 12 noon. We know that uh, for the second um, part of GPA for the day. And today, we will not be meeting uh, physically on site for our first meeting to corporately. We'll be, we'll be having service online to break uh, our fast um, today at 7 p.m. online. So look out for that. So after the Nigeria Arise prayers for 30 minutes, we'll go straight into the online, which is 7 p.m. on the dot. All right, thank you. Have a wonderful night rest for those who are in the night season, for those who are in the day season, um, Australia and all the parts of the world. Um, have a wonderful day or wonderful morning, as the case may be. Bless you, love you all. See you together. Oh, call the widow Zarephath. You would have thought that she was used to bail out the prophet. No, sir. The Bible says there were many widows in Zarephath. It was only one that God sent to. So, sir, ma, no, don't be confused. The widow was not used to bail out the prophet. The prophet was used to bail out the widow. Read the story well. By the virtue of obeying the prophets, make for me. Da, 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 da. He's prophesied. Guess what? All of a sudden, the woman who said, "Have one meal to eat and die," but a prophetic breath came over her meal. We're told that meal sustained her throughout the season of drought and famine. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls? physical health challenges, career challenges, indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodhart's OB Equipment. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Medium Time plus one, and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Medium Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rogic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodhart's O Equipment. On Instagram at Apostle Goodheart and on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. The surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise.